What's going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Glad you guys decided to come out and hang out with me today. It's midnight, and we are back on Terra Tech. Now, as you can see, we're in kind of a different area. And basically what it is, is I decided, you know what? I didn't really like the area we were in. Uh, the desert's not that great for building a lot of stuff. It doesn't really give you a ton of room to place anything or to really build a a decent sized base so I figured you know what why not we'll go ahead and move but I wanted to get to an area that was that was kind of on a uh, uh, a, a multiple amount of biomes I wanted one where if you look uh, up up up, up up this side of the mountain we're in the mountain range where there's a lot of rocks there's actually um, a few thermal vents over here and stuff like that and of course we've got an item that is a geo g geo g e o g s o g e o uh, thermal uh, thermal machine or whatever it is you put over a vent so I wanted to try that out I wanted a place where we had some nice salt flats where we could build you know big stuff and then I also wanted to get the desert and as well I also wanted to get into the forest unfortunately this place is surrounded by desert so I figured you know three out of the four wasn't bad plus if you go around this mountain over here and you just travel for a little bit not very long you can actually get to a forest over there and I decided you know what I mean that's what I was gonna do so I found this area well I built a nice big machine that could carry everything and I kind of disassembled everything and then we got here and, and here we are and I went ahead and what I did was I started a charging station I got a whole bunch of the the solar generators a whole bunch of batteries and then I was able to find these little um, wireless charging balls which are really nice when it comes down to having to charge batteries you don't have to take the batteries off of um, off of your machine and stuff and then I made a new type of um, refinery slash selling machine and basically all I did was I made a loop and that's all it does is it just they just loop through and it's kinda like a storage I use these conveyors as storage and it just loops through and loops through and it just keeps looping so basically all of these can all of the the receivers can hold um, can hold material as well as these conveyors can hold material as uh, also and they just sit there and loop and every any time a refinery is open the refinery picks it up and then it gets tossed into this loop over here where it's surround uh, it's surrounding all of our selling cannons uh, so they just sit there and loop through and it's also kinda like a storage too if we get a lot of stuff in there you know a lot of it's not gonna be just sitting and we're not gonna be just sitting and waiting for everything to be made and sold but today as you can see I've got a new cab and I decided you know what I wanted to build a new harvester and since we actually don't have a fighter yet, we kind of need to make it a harvester slash fighter. And then when we're able to build a fighter, we'll build a fighter and we'll, you know, we'll transfer the harvester into a pure harvester. So we kind of have to make it a, a, a combination of both. As you can see in the upper left-hand corner, the GSO, we've got max to four. And then the GEO, I've got it up to two and a quarter and basically all it is is when we uh, coming over here traveling I actually had to travel quite a ways to get over here I had to fight a lot to get over here so I was able to kill a lot of guys I was able to do a lot of find a lot of renegade machines and stuff like that so um, we ended up getting actually a lot of new parts and a whole bunch of old parts too I mean we got 161 of these guns we've got a ton of parts to go so I figured you know what let's just go ahead and build a refiner or a harvester today and the way I want to actually build it is I want to make it kind of like a big flatbed truck so let's just go ahead and start and see what we can do now as you can see I got a whole bunch of these batteries and that's just basically every time I fought one of the yellow guys the GEO type of robots um, that was the type that I ended up that, that ended up having a lot of these batteries and they they have they hold they have a big capacity a really big capacity so I thought you know what now that we have the charging orbs over here why not make the body of our harvester out of batteries and that should actually help us quite a bit when it comes down to 
you know we don't have to remove the batteries to charge them or anything else like that so let's just make the main body out of batteries I think that'd be kinda cool we got the this new cab I probably could use the other cab because it's smaller but I figured eh, it's not gonna be that big of a deal so let's go ahead and use what I want to do is I want to protect the cab first and let's go ahead and put that oops let's go ahead and put that there that there and then I want to use these shock pat paneling. I'm not exactly sure what they do. I think they're supposed to be kind of like shielding. But I figured, eh, you know what, we'll just go ahead and use those. So now that we've got that, um, we'll put that there for now. And we've got our body made out of batteries. Okay, so let's, let's start seeing where we're going to place our tractor pads. And I got two of these big old tractor pads which is good. I want a lot of tractor space. I mean a ridiculous amount of tractor space. And then let's go ahead and do the two blocks down the side right here. I want to make it fairly wide. I don't want it to make massive. I want it to be compact and maneuverable but at the same time I don't want it to be massively wide. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do that and I know this kinda looks like the truck that we had before which it kinda is I guess you could say but it's gonna be a flatbed yeah so let's see uh, I want to remove this block and this block one of the things that I found out about this game is when it comes to tractor pads if you run over something um, if you run over something with a tractor pad, it usually all the stuff gets stuck on the bottom. If you have paneling on the sides of it, it doesn't allow it to be sucked in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those there and I'm going to leave these holes right here just so the middle pad right here can actually be utilized. I'm hoping. I'm not I've, I'm not actually tried this before, but I'm hoping we can do that. Um, and then from there, I think I want to use do we have the small yellow tractor pads? Okay, we don't have any big ones anymore, so we'll use the small yellow ones. So let's just go ahead and put these on here. I just want to make a massive amount of pads here. Okay, so let's use, now that we're out of the yellow ones, let's use these right here. Okay, I like that. Good. Now let's see. Okay, so with the tires, for the most part, I've always liked... Are these the ones? No. Are these the ones? I've kind of liked these for my harvester. But to be honest with you, uh, with these, I don't... The machine that I made, I actually ended up killing a big robot that had these big, these big wheels on it and I decided you know what let's just let's 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 see how they work how they work on our harvester here um, see if we get because basically these these carry the most weight these are the biggest wheels in the game they carry the most weight and we definitely want them to carry a lot of weight but at the same time you see how close I'm making the tires together that should make it very maneuverable for us. Yeah, even with that big butt on it, it's still very, very maneuverable. It turns very quickly, and it's still pretty fairly quick, but it's not so fast to where when you have a bunch of materials on the back, it's just going to, when it takes off, all the materials are going to be dropped on the, the ground. Hopefully. I'm hoping it's not too fast for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and even out this side over here. Um, yeah, that should be good right there. Okay, and now let's let's see, we need to protect it as much as possible. So let's let's do this. I want to put shielding on it, obviously. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to hide the shielding. I'm going to hide it so it doesn't get destroyed very easily. So let's put it 
under the wheels right here. And that way it's kind of hidden. I don't really like them like that. I want to, there we go, I want to turn them so the wheel actually can attach to it. Just in case things get destroyed, I want my wheels to stay on as long as possible. Okay, so now for shielding. Actually, let's do this. Let's pull these back here. Okay, get them on the inside. There we go. Now let's go ahead and do the shielding right here. Okay, good. These will be on the inside of the tires, so it should shield them pretty well. This one's not turned the right way. Okay. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and we need, obviously, every harvester needs drills. So we need a way to put... Can we use this? Right there. Um, I don't really like that right there. And just in case you guys hear the crackling and popping, I've got Merlin, my little buddy Merlin, with me here. He's eating peanuts because he knows every time that I start recording. The biggest way to annoy me is to eat peanuts sitting on my lap while I'm trying to record. Okay, where's our laser drills? I was able to find these diamond drills and I was able to find these laser drills, but I think the laser drills might be better. I don't know for sure, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna just go for it and put these bad boys on here. Okay, why aren't you... I just... You are a four square, right? Why do you keep trying to go... Why won't... Uh, okay, I'm gonna put one in the... What the heck? Why won't it? There we go. Okay, so then there, and that forced it so the other two could be done like that. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. That's way, 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 way too low. We can't even go up hills like that. Um, let's try this. Let's see if we can just put the wheels on the very edge of our shielding here. Whoops. Let's see if we can get the wheels just a little bit higher. Okay, so that looks... Yeah, that should work, I think. Okay, let's try that. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's the, one of the problems with the drills. People you, you, people think they need to put them really low, and you kind of do when it comes down to rocks and stuff, or you need to put make the front wheels smaller so the entire harvester's at an angle, and that just kind of sucks because then you can get stuck in the front... I don't know. It just... Yeah, it, these wheels can be a pain. S or not the wheels, but the drills. So let's go ahead, and one of the biggest things is, like I said before, we definitely need some guns on this just in case we run in. We're out harvesting and we need to protect ourselves and we have a run-in with some bad guys. Um, I think these wheels are low enough where I can put these guns all the way on the side. Now, as soon as I can, I'm going to get rid of these guns and make it so we don't have any guns on it but like I said right now we're trying to protect it as much as possible so we kinda need the guns right now because we don't have a fighter maybe next episode or something I'll see if we can build a fighter of some some type some type of fighter bot so we got a lot of trap tractor pad space I guess you could call it real estate Put some more guns on it. You never have too many guns. Right there, right there. Kind of looks funny. It looks like a stepside truck. <laughs> I never like stepside trucks. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see. So we've got our holes in the side over here, and that's going to allow the materials to be sucked up through the side so we won't not utilize the center pad, the center pad will be utilized. The, hopefully this pad back here will be utilized as much as possible. Um, uh, let's put some bigger guns on it. 
let's 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 try out these GSO magneton guns. Magneton guns. I've always kind of shied away from them a little bit, but at the same time, I know that they are hard-hitting guns. <clears throat> Excuse me. And one of the things is is you want to kill as fast as you can. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I want to kill as fast as possible. I don't like dorking around when it comes down to when it comes down to fighting. I like to get it done and get it over with. Uh, okay, so let's put now we can put these on the sides right here and right there, right there, right there, there and there, and then we'll put a cup. We'll put. A, why? How many times do I gotta click it before you'll? Can wait, you, what? Whoops. Did I just throw that? Okay. Uh, things aren't working today. No, why would you... Why do you keep trying to put it up there? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, and then we need some on the sides as well. Because when they're low like that, they will hit the rocks and stuff if we shoot them off. Now, I don't think that's enough padding for us. Let's put some more pads on this bad boy, shall we? Yeah, let's make it ridiculous. And then we'll even it out by putting these little ones in here. Look at the freaking real estate we've got on that. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Look at that flatbed. Uh, I think that's pretty much done. I mean, like I said, I wanted it to be a lot of real estate when it comes down to how much tractor pads we've got. But I also wanted it to be turn very maneuverable. It is still very maneuverable, guys. Uh-oh. And it looks like that our protection, our pads aren't being protected. Yeah, it looks like our pads aren't being... Oh, I hate it when this game just lets your your guy roll. Um, let's see if we can get it charged up here. Uh, looks like our corner pads aren't going to be protected. I guess I could throw a couple in the back. Is everything else pretty protected? It looks like it is. Uh, there might be a little bit of space around that Megaton Cannon, but... For the most part, it looks like the rest of it's protected. And here's one of the cool things you can do, too. With this, you can pull your storage and put it underneath like that. And look at that. Your storage is nice and protected. It's out of the way. It's in. It's within your shielding. And then if you get, you know, you kill a bad guy while you're out there, you can just pull this, this storage out. And I think you can buy more of these storage things, but... I think it might be, I don't know exactly which company you need to have maxed or whatever, but I haven't been able to find any of them, like, on the purchasing list anywhere. I thought you could purchase more, but I don't... I don't know if you can or not. See, it doesn't show... Yeah, see, it's not showing me any more of the SCU units. I don't know. Maybe I can just throw a cab on that one. And then I can save it as a snapshot. And then I can just purchase multiple. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Let's go ahead and take this. Uh, yeah, I like it. Let's go ahead and take it out. Let's see how maneuverable it is. I gotta see if it can climb these hills without getting stuck. Okay, we're not getting stuck on those hills. The the guns are gonna be annoying. Uh, oh, those drills are nice. Look at those drills. And I want to make sure that it's sucking up materials from the side in this hole right here. Make sure that it's. Oh, yep, it is. It is. They are going through the sides. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so that middle pad is being utilized. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I like that, guys. It's very maneuverable. In fact, it's almost... 
It's almost so quick. Okay. Yeah, see, we're not getting stuck on anything. It's almost so quick when it turns that it's hard to control. Oh, look at that. See, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's got... <laughs> it can do some steep stuff, too. Come on. Oop. Keyboard. Optical keyboard suck. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, that's not bad. It's going up. It's making it up the hill. Oh, it looks like... Eh, that's a little frustrating. But that's the problem. Like I said, when it comes down to harvesters, one of the biggest problems that you can have with a harvester is when you can't get your drill to face the right direction. That kind of makes it tough. But this this bad boy is very maneuverable, and it's not having really a hard time climbing at all. I just need to get at a better angle here. Like I said, it's going to be really annoying when it comes down to the gun sounds constantly going off and stuff, but that's not too bad. Oh yeah, it's working great. It's grabbing stuff. Oh, I'm stuck on that rock on the left. And that's one of the reasons I came over to this mountainous area is because of the rocks. I really like the rocks over here. I like or harvesting the rocks. It seemed to make more money off of them. Especially the blue ones that are out in uh, out in the, 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 the salt flats that we're camped on. Am I stuck? Yes. Especially the blue ones that are out where we're camped. Those blue ones, they they don't give you a lot, but they are worth 400 and... Is it 420? Money, I think it is. BB bucks or whatever they're called. Okay, so now we're in a fight. Let's see how well he does. Oh, no problem whatsoever. He, he He's a rocket man now. He just went shooting. Oh, man, I'm stuck on that stupid rock again. Maybe I should extend out the drills and put more drills on the right and the left side. Problem is, is the tires are kind of in the way, so I don't know. I guess I could rock it back and forth to try and hit it when it's a little bit too low. Let's try this. Let's just spin around and see if we can put the bed of it. Oh, look at that. That worked great. <laughs> that worked really well, actually. It looks like the rock we were pounding on actually has more ore in it, though. Let's see if we can get at an angle. I just, like I said, what, it's really annoying when it comes down to you trying to build a harvester and your drills aren't low enough to the ground, but then when you get them lower to the ground, you can't go up hills. You get it, it gets stuck, it has problems driving, and it's just like, seriously? Like right here, this is annoying. This is really annoying. Do I really need to take my tires off to do this? I mean, seriously. Oh, great. That was fun. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> that was awesome! Okay, so let's see if we can just... <clears throat> I don't think there's anything up here, there, anything else up here that has, oh, there's one right there that has four. I'm just trying to get enough so we can do a real test on our new, um, our new fabrication area. Yeah, see, it's still not low enough to hit those. So now I have to take my stinking tires off again. Why are you floating? Stop floating. There we go. Okay, so now I can put them back on. Okay, and now it seems like the middle the middle pad really isn't being utilized as much as it could be utilized, unfortunately. Um, I know if I take this out, the middle pad might grab some. What's with the lag? Come on. Yeah, that middle pad isn't being utilized at all. See, that's what I was kind of afraid of, is that middle pad wouldn't be utilized as much as it should be. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't slow down. What the heck, man? Lost half of our stuff because I was going downhill. 
And I couldn't, my stupid optical keyboard, I really need to stop playing with this stupid optical keyboard. It's such a piece of junk. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got everything back. I don't know, I'm going to have to try and figure out, maybe, maybe if I remove these tractor pads right here on the sides, in here, that'll allow enough space when we run over to over stuff to utilize the middle pad. I mean, we are taking off two pads to do that, but the 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 middle pad is kind of like having four pads. So, okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can back up into here. See, like I said, it's very maneuverable. Very maneuverable. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that worked really well. And our looks like our bed of our truck is actually it actually can go over. So we can I can back up all the way back here and it'll pull all the way from the front pad. That's actually pretty nice. Uh it looks like we are a little bit backed up on the fabricator though, unfortunately. But it's not too bad. I mean well, actually, there we go. There we go. So that wasn't a full load. So, yeah, we probably would have been a little bit more backed up. But, um... you still trying to pull? Yeah, you're still trying to pull from somewhere, and I don't... can't figure out where. Is it over here? Did you pull? You pulled. Okay, excellent. Okay, well that's not too bad, guys. I mean, let's go ahead and make a snapshot of this bad boy. If it'll stop rolling. Uh, no, I don't want the other stuff in the background, so... Let's go ahead... And make a snapshot. And we'll call it, it kind of looks like um, a, a yellow scarab, like a golden scarab, so we'll call it uh, Golden Wing, uh, Golden Wing Scarab. There we go. Now I don't want to tweet it. Nobody else can have my stuff. Alright, guys. Well, that works out pretty well. Like I said, it's very maneuverable. It moves around quite easily. Uh, I don't have really much problem driving it or anything. It goes up and down hills really well. Um, let's go ahead and pick up some of these. These are actually worth 420 a piece. Looks like on flat ground the drills work really well. Uh, yeah, so it's it's not doing too bad. It's I wonder how it does with the guns and attacking. Let's go ahead and try that out here. Oop, it's a renegade. That means I'm going to get an extra piece. Oh! 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 Wow, those cannons, all those megaton cannons are nasty. We just smoked that guy in seconds. Holy crap. We didn't even lose any of our product either. Oh, that's great, guys. Well, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Anyway, I'm going to call it. That's it for this episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure you guys subscribe. I see we've got a couple more subscribers, so welcome to the channel. That's awesome. Um, keep gaming. Keep doing it at midnight. Thanks for coming out to the channel and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.